Hi you guys, Graham again uh, on the YouTube Matchbox channel. Okay, um, just going to do the second part now of um, exposing the uh, bodgery and fakery. And uh, once again, ex excuse me if the uh, the camera's a little bit wobbly. Uh, not because I've had a beer. Um, you know, it's quite difficult to hold the camera still when you're holding models. Uh, so we're just going to pop this down, okay? And then hopefully you can see uh, enough from the camera angles um, to what I'm going to tell you. We're, we're, we're going to look at the um, this Rolls Royce here. Um, ridiculous colour. Uh, metallic green. Now the thing is, the, the guy that supplied all these Mickey Mouse base swaps and so-called rare wheel variations, okay, not only does he does do that, but he buys this sort of model and also the Ford Group 6 from the chap in Greece that makes them, Nick Steele. Now, you, plenty of guys out there probably bought models from him and when he sells on eBay, he does sell them as recreated models. Unfortunately, and I have conclusive proof for this, is that he does sell outside of eBay to unsuspecting vic victims. Um, he knows who he's selling to, and he knows that he sold to this guy in Holland. Um, because all these models here came from the same victim. Okay, now the guy that's made all these Mickey Mouse bits and pieces. He doesn't repaint or restore models. He just base swaps and wheel swaps, okay? So we know for a fact that this is, these two models here are Nick Steele's work, 100%. And just to conclusively prove that these are Mickey Mouse, this one here was really easy to come apart actually. And again, if you look underneath, you'll see on the surface that rivet looks fine, okay? But really, the, the paint's all wrong. I mean, that sort of metallic-y type paint, Ma Matchbox didn't use that. You know, not, not, it's not even close to the Hot Wheels Spectra Flame colours. It's just really ghastly, okay? And do you see what happened there? <laughs> the rivet actually dropped out. Uh, so similar to the, um, to the Lincolns, okay? Uh, what the guy's done, well, we might as well, let's just take it apart now, because this was, this was really easy to come apart. This, this took no persuasion at all. And again, you'll see here, okay, that the, the rivet post has been clearly expanded out and drilled, okay? This here is an original Lesney rivet, uh, whether you can see that or not clearly. But you can see what I was saying earlier, the way it's been shaved down, okay? So if you turn it up this way, there we are. There's the, uh, there's the original, if you can get that in focus, original Leslie rivet, Leslie rivet, sorry. And um, obviously there's not been enough glue to keep that into position. And as you can see there, it just, it just slots, it just slots in there, okay? and then the base goes back on and it's glued into place, okay? Uh, this is essentially, look, just a, a repaint, uh, which somebody has paid hundreds of pounds for, okay? What I'm not saying, okay, and I said this before, if somebody wants to repaint models for their own, you know, restoration purposes, that's great, I'm, I'm all for that. There's actually a lot of sort of videos on YouTube um, that um, show how, these guys restore a model, and I encourage it. I think I think that's a great part of the hobby. But when you're doing it to sell on to unsuspecting victims, this is where it becomes fraud, okay? So that's basically what that is, and there's the rivet just popped out again. So complete and utter, complete, conclusive proof of a fake Matchbox toy. So put that to one side, and we'll move on to uh, the Ford Group 6. This is another Nick still um, creation, okay? And on the surface, looks looks quite good, doesn't it? Turn it upside down. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Now, here's the thing. I'm not gonna pull this one apart, because I don't need to, okay? Now, the color, he's got, he's got right. It, it's a very good representation of the flat green Ford Group 6, okay? Um, but if you look, 
the paint is just it's just too good look at it it's too leslie didn't do it like this there's no flaws in it there's no little bits of dust in the paint it's just too too good and this is where the bodges and fakers make trip up okay is because they make it too good you'll see also okay that the the chrome engine's been chemically stripped once it was, once it was apart as well uh, so not only have we got just a, a restored model okay uh, they've actually stripped the engine so they've sort of gone too far with it really now for the telltale signs okay right first of all you'll see the base there that base okay has been cleaned and polished lesney bases just aren't like that uh, here, here's, a, here's an original Leslie base. You'll see they're sort of a bit mottled and you get faults in them and stuff. So so Nick that's done this has sort of made too good a job. You can see it's, it's all polished. And the rivets as well, okay, that he's completely painted the rivets. There's no metal showing at all. You know, it's just completely wrong. Um, also, you'll see here uh, that these narrow wheels, okay, are of the hollow variety. This Ford Group 6 model, okay, 100% uh, only comes with the solid wheels and has a tread pattern to it, okay. These wheels are completely smooth. As you can see, they're hollow underneath. Uh, total 100% fake. I'm not gonna pull this one apart because at the end of the day, these are not my property. Um, I have permission <clears throat> um, from the victim um, to, to do these videos and, and expose the uh, the fraudsters work uh, but I don't want to pull every model apart uh, because as I say they're not my property uh, so there we go so there, there's the two um, repainted models because that's all they are um, so the victim that bought these okay uh, has paid several hundred pounds and I think he paid four figures for this model it is just a total recreation um, so if you've got one of these okay uh, and you're unsure of it, contact me, email me, do what you want to do, okay? Um, all these models here, okay, uh, I'm not going to pull these apart. Uh, it's all the same situation, okay, where underneath the rivets look fine, and the reason they do is because they are genuine rivets, uh, but this is, all of these models are complete fraud. Now, when this go, if the guy doesn't give them the victim the money back um, which i'm sure he'll fight it because he's in total denial okay um, i'm saving these for a potential um, um, court case because then in court we can actually pull those models apart so that's why i'm leaving those ones be at the moment um, and um, we'll, we'll look at one more on the next post so so listen p please comment please share it around the world um, if, if, we, if we stick together, if we work together, uh, we can stop uh, the fraudsters um, um, conning uh, matchbox collectors out of their hard-earned money. Thanks ever so much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.